there is a common misunderstanding that when you're in space, gravity has no effect. In fact, this couldn't be further from the truth. There are only two things that actually have a direct effect on gravity. It is larger a mass and the closer you are. So a larger mass has more gravity and the closer you are, the more gravitational pull. Further away, less gravitational pull. Smaller mass, less gravitational pull. So why then do um, people who are in orbit appear to be weightless? They're weightless, not massless. Reason is, when you are falling to Earth, say like any, any object from space, is pulled into Earth and hits the Earth. Accelerates towards the Earth as gravitational pull pulls it in. But a spaceship in orbit is actually travelling at actually quite a fast speed. And if it's travelling fast enough, it will reach what's called the escape velocity and fly out into space. But in orbit, you're travelling at a rather precise speed. As you roll around, gravitation pulls you in, but your acceleration pulls you out. Gravitation pulls you in. And that orbit, you're constantly falling towards the Earth, but maintaining the same altitude. And because everything is falling at the same speed, everything floats and appears weightless. That is what happens when you're in orbit around a planet. Can this be used to actually help spaceships fly? It's something called the slingshot effect. Now, if you're approaching a planet as a spaceship directly, you'll just collide with it and crash. But if you approach at the right angle and skim past it, gravitational pull will still pull you in, round, 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 and you can fly off the end. All that time you've been going round the corner, as it were, of the planet, you're accelerating due to the pull of the planet's gravity. And when you come out of the planet's gravity, you've been slingshot and now are travelling faster than you were when you approached the planet in the first place. Do this multiple times, you can dramatically speed up your spaceship's velocity. OK. So why then do people want to set up bases on the Moon and Mars? for travelling into space. Well actually the Earth's gravity is actually quite a strong force because the Earth is actually quite a large mass. But the Moon and Mars are actually a smaller mass therefore they have less gravitational pull. When you're actually trying to launch a rocket most of it's not actually going up. What you try to do is reach that escape velocity so when you actually pull out you can go out into space. The larger planet's mass, the greater your escape velocity. The smaller the mass, the actual less your uh, speed needs to be, therefore, because you're overcoming less of a gravitational pull. Therefore, if you can establish a base on the Moon or Mars, you require less fuel to get yourself out into orbit and breaching the escape velocity of the planet or Moon. That's why people wanting to set up bases on the Moon or Mars for exploring the solar system. It's the mass of the planet is ha having the effect. Less mass, less rocket fuel needed, cheaper flights. Okay, hope that explains some things about gravity.